Hi, did you know that starting from yesterday, ChatGPT and FigJam are connected and you can create user journeys, user flows directly inside ChatGPT and see them visually in FigJam? I did a couple experiments and I'm really excited to share some examples with you. So let's dig into it. So before we start, just a heads up, I'm inside EU, I'm in Berlin, and if you're also there, this feature is not available for you. So it's been published yesterday. And as usual, it takes some time to pass through EU regulations and be ready for us. But I'm using a VPN right now, so I could test this. So before actually uh, make the magic happen you need to go to your settings the, the settings of your uh, chat gpt account apps and connectors and make sure that you are connected with figma that's really solid really quick so what i'm gonna do is actually showing the experimentations that i went through so I started first with a simple text, create a flow for people who want to split the bill uh, after dining in a restaurant. So you see that the result wasn't really that bad. If you can zoom in here, so it shows the steps and everything's based on ChatGPT's imagination, I assume. And it wasn't that bad to be honest. So I wanted to take a step further and see how it actually works with memorizing things and just making changes to the shapes and how the flow chart looks so i defined legends added a start and finish uh, adding uh, conditions and pages and estates as well as interactions and defining colors and shapes at the same time and it was pretty good so you can see uh defined everything really solid, remembered everything, and just changed the stuff that I asked it to. So the challenge that I had with uh, FigJam's AI assistant itself was I couldn't reiterate on a specific user flow. Maybe it was me, but I couldn't do that. So every time I needed to change things manually, so that was a pain for me. The next step was experimenting how it's gonna work if I share some sketches. So I scanned these sketches, uh, labeled them with numbers so it could understand this, uh, the order, and then shared it and shared this prompt. These are sketches for a kiosk ordering experience, a project that I've been doing, I've done last year. Create prompts for the user journey and turn those prompts into user flows on FigJam. So uh, it directly created a user flow. So I would expect them to like show me the prompts first, but that was okay. To be honest, it's created the journey like an end-to-end -end in a linear way. Uh, what I wanted to do next is to actually see the conditions, interactions, and so on. So the next thing was what are the edge cases, uh, conditions, and interactions for each step? Let's focus on meal customization. Meal customization is where that you select the size, select the ingredients, add side dishes, and so on. So it came up with the prompts this time. And check them with me. And then ask, you want me now to map them? So I think this was a better approach. So. I don't know the reason why it didn't do it this way in the previous prompt, but it did it. So I said, yes, it created the flow. Mm, the result wasn't really good, but I believe that's fair because AI doesn't do the job for us. We need to make sure that define things clearly and write the right prompt and, uh, make sure that we're using it for the execution part. So that has been my strategy while using AI tools. So what I did next was writing a detailed user story, like a very short version of a user story with like 50, 60% of the whole thing for order customization, the one that I described before. And I said to reprom, it thought for 33 seconds, and to be honest, the result was really good. So it added everything with the details that I provided. It didn't 
add up to it, but it didn't remove it either. Uh, the visuals and you know how the flow would look like still needs some work. Maybe you can fix this. Maybe I could fix this through prompting. Uh, started from left to right, at the start at the beginning, at finish in the end, everything needs to be connected some, somewhere. So maybe that will be the next detail, but this is something actually uh, really good because I can think about the user story that I want to create and try to visualize it with just the prompt, which happens in seconds. I, I just need to think really in details and break down different steps, making sure that I am considering the edge cases. And you know what? You're already in chat GPT. You can define the edge cases. You can come up with a solid user journey and, uh, and a user story and then turn it into a user flow. So that was it with this experimentation. So I think I'm going to use this more often in real projects and do further experimentation just to speed up the process. This is going to be really handy. I'm already I've already created GPTs. I've already created agents, which I'm going to probably integrate this into those. Okay, let's see. Let's see where it goes. Thanks for watching this video and feel free to share your comments. If you do experimentations, feel free to add your insights. If anything that you can add on top of this, share it. If you're, uh, you're interested in engaging more, let's chat, DM me. And if you are into AI experimentations, I'm going to create more of these videos and it's going to be about creating agents. It's going to be create, do, doing vibe coding, building the products as a designer, rather than just creating them on Figma, building the front end and back end and integrating and creating an MVP. That's what I'm doing. That's what we're doing right now. And I'm super excited for that. Let's stay connected. Bye.